to the Saba Saba protest, the push and pull between some of the protesters and the police. Of course, of course we definitely saw scenes of uh, unruliness around the protest, but equally we saw uh, scenes of police excesses. And how exactly do we clamp on these excesses? We definitely said to have a conversation all to do with the legality around certain moves. In the midst of all the political noise, it's really important to find that uh, clarion call when it comes to matters law. So we are set to have a conversation or continue with a conversation with Isabella Obara, who is the technical lead uh, of litigation and legal advice at the Independent Medical Legal Unit. So Isabella, thanks for your patience. Let's continue. And you had just highlighted um, what exactly the law says, the constitution says around the impeachment of a president. So let's shift focus right now and perhaps talk about the freedoms and responsibilities around protest and such gatherings. Yeah. And perhaps just beginning with a bite from the cabinet secretary of Interior, Professor Kithure Kindiki, who just today voiced his opinion in terms of what exactly the police service should do when it comes to, you know, those protesting without arms. Let's listen in. Kama wanainchi awana silaha, wachani na wanainchi wa sebe mambo yao. Kama wajabeba silaha, hawa umizi mutu, hawa vunji duka ya mutu, wacha wa mge mambo yao. Ikifika jioni wataina nyumbani. Ikiweza kana uwasindikishwe. Yeah. Yes. Sababu, kuna wenzetu katika idara ya usalama wachache. Pia bao wanatumia nguvu visivyo. Na hiyo haita kubalika. Haita kubalika. Interesting. That's the cabinet secretary of interior definitely, you know, calling.